Hi, welcome to End Credit Reviews, and Skyfall is criminally overrated. Skyfall is the third in the Daniel Craig Bond movies from 2012. It was directed by Sam Mendes, who is a director that I have mixed feelings about. It stars Daniel Craig, Javier Bardem, Naomi Harris, and Judi Dench. This movie got a ton of praise and made over a billion dollars at the box office, mostly because of the hype that was released around the 50th anniversary of the first James Bond movie. While many seem to love it, I honestly feel like I'm on the minority in regards to not loving this movie. But if you have been watching this channel long enough, you know that I have no shortage of unpopular opinions. So before I begin, I want to make a few statements. First is that this is an analyzation, not a review, so there will be spoilers throughout. Second is that just because I think this movie is overrated doesn't mean I won't point out some things that I might have liked about it. And finally, this is a copyright disclaimer. This means that I do not own any of the video, audio, or music footage from this movie. So without further ado, here is why I think Skyfall is criminally overrated. The movie opens up to a decent action sequence with James Bond, played by Daniel Craig, is after a bad guy who steals a MacGuffin. Things go well until M, played by Judi Dench, orders Bond's partner, played by Naomi Harris, to shoot. Take the bloody shot! I know people harp on Denise Richards for playing a nuclear physicist. Doctor. Jones. Christmas Jones. And don't make any jokes, I've heard them all. But she never dropped the ball like she did. The bad guy gets away, and M realizes that this is the second worst choice she has ever made in her career. But don't worry, Bond is okay. A bit anticlimactic, but moving on. It's been revealed that the MacGuffin has the names of MI6 agents that are now being exposed. So, if they knew that, then why didn't they warn their people in the first place? But then their headquarters gets blown up. Well, according to the city's mayor, this is somehow a normal thing to happen. Bond shows back up and gets mad at M. What was it you said? Take the bloody shot. But doesn't get mad at the woman who shot him? There's only four ribs. Some of the less vital organs. Nothing major. Then the movie suggests that Bond isn't really himself, and it's going to be his character arc. This would have been interesting if they would have followed through with this, but it never does. It forgets this faster than Peter attempting to find his uncle's killer in The Amazing Spider-Man. He later meets with Q, played by Ben Winchell. A gun. And a radio. Not exactly Christmas, is it? Are you expecting an exploding pen? Screw you, that exploding pen was awesome! Bond eventually catches up with a bad guy from before, but who is this guy? At least the other side villains in the franchise were somewhat memorable, but he falls to his death and Bond doesn't get answers. He does finally meet up with the closest thing to a Bond girl named Servine, played by Beatrice Marlone, and she agrees to take him to the villain's location. He then sleeps with her and I don't know about you, but if a woman told me she was a former child sex slave, Tattoo on your wrist is Macau's sex trade. You belong to one of the houses. What were you, 12? 13? I would not be horny whatsoever. The next day, they arrive at Epstein's Island, and he finally meets Sylvia, played by Javier Bardem. Now this one take shot is very impressive. This is something that the director would experiment in his next movie, and would later perfect in 1917. But shortly after, Sylvia does this to him. How oh, you're trying to remember your training now? What's the regulation to cover this? Well, first time for everything. Who produced this scene, Netflix? Sylvia gets captured and brought back to MI6. There it's revealed that he was a former agent of MI6 and this happens. Look how part of your work. Mala. 
So let me get this straight. The Craig Bond movies pride themselves in being serious and realistic, but then they do something so cartoonish as this. But then the villain, Big Shock, gets captured on purpose so he could escape. Gee, like we've never saw that one before. And sadly not the last time either. He runs away from Bond, and he escapes due to a train crashing. <laughs> Bullshit. You know how precisely he had to time that? Even Buster Keaton would have rolled his eyes. Bond figures out that M is not safe in London and decides to go off the grid to the title of a movie. But beforehand, they write in a callback to a much better movie. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was Disney's job to shamelessly milk nostalgia. They then fight off Sylvia's men, and I was going to make comparisons to Home Alone, but the Honest Trailer video already brought it up. But it's not like they would steal any of my jokes. Was it necessary to show him naked? Was it necessary to see baby Superman's bait and tackle? Sylvia catches up with M and... Free both of us. Free both of us, with the same bullet, do it. So why is this villain considered scary? He is built up to be such a menace, but it's hard to take him seriously when he breaks down emotionally faster than Norman Bates. Bond defeats Sylvia, but M dies, and Ray Fiennes becomes a new M. Oh yeah, and this is Moneypenny? Well, my name's Eve. Eve Moneypenny. Yeah, that resemblance is so uncanny. Sadly, it would not be the last time Hollywood would do this. To be fair, I don't think it's a bad movie, because it does have some good cinematography, directing, and acting, but it really could have used a rewrite to iron out all the issues that it had. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I prefer Spectre over this. Sure, it may have had some problems as well. Chi sei? Sono Topolino. E tu chi saresti? But at least that movie had a Bond girl, and its villain didn't turn out to be a mama's boy. I would watch Skyfall over the worst of the James Bond franchise, but it's no Casino Royale. So that is why I think Skyfall is criminally overrated. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe.